Hello. In the last video, we talked about uh, how uh, data was, how information was stored about 50 years ago, and we clearly enumerated different types of problem. And in this video, we'll try to give an attempt to solve a couple of those. So, so here is this thing. So this is your, uh, you know, birth certificate. Birth certificates and these are you know a lot of birth certificates just messing around all, all the time uh, over here in the cabinet and if you take a look a close look at one of those certificate it might look like this it might look like a number like you know on on on, on it's a certificate number and there are a couple of you know first name last name so first name middle name last name month of birth and date of birth and so on and then the so address and so on okay so so the first approach you know very naive approach I, what i would say that uh, like you know to solve the problem that we saw in the last video maybe why don't we just uh, you know scan it why don't you just scan it everything and store it in our computer okay yes so you can do that so this is a scanned copy of that one and then what i did i just scanned everything and then store them on my computer so what used to be a documents of full of rooms you know full of full of a complete room is now fit everything into a small computer okay so that's a, it's a computer with a hard drive and all those things so 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 let's say I, I i did that and i kept like that okay so so that is well that solved one of my problem uh, the problem is that if tomorrow this house is going to be burnt then uh, or 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 some some fire or some natural calamities happened then i might have copied it you know scan it and then copied it in two computers and i keep them in different places so if it's one is gone still i have other things are there but is this solving other problems so what are the other problems so is it solving me that if i want to find out how many people were born in 1963 okay in state of hawaii so how do i find that so here is approach to find it so like i just here is here my birth certificates i just go to all the birth certificates whatever i stored in my directory and then i will just have a count somewhere okay 1963 okay so i go i go on and check in this directory and whenever i get a birth you know certificate which was born in 1963 then i just put a number here I increase the count like this and then I calculate. So assume that we have a million uh, number of records, a uh, million number of uh, birth certificates available in the in this, in, in state of Hawaii. Then how long does it take? So again, the, the fundamental question that we asked last time is that it's difficult to find any information. So do we think it's, if we do this way, it's better? Absolutely not. It will, it will take uh, years. It will take years to get the information. Okay, so therefore, this naive approach is not going to solve the problem. Then, if you mark out something like this, like you know, for example, what we are seeing in in this certificate, a lot of information, a lot of data. Like you know, this address is this is the address. Okay, so this is the first name, and this is uh, you know, you know exactly where is uh, and some some so like age of the father, and father's birthday, and then a lot of other things. Right, so. So what we are trying to do is that why don't you take out all this information? Okay, so take out, so this is information. This is the first name. This is another information of this uh, certificate. Similarly, we have one million certificates like that. So why can't you take this atomic elements that we're seeing and then take it out and then organize them in a particular way so that you can figure it out quickly. Okay, so that is essentially what we call a database. So database is basically a organized collection of data. Okay. So what is database? It's called is organized. It's very important how you organize so that organized collections of data. So what you see here, you see here data all around you. Okay. So you take them out. You take this individual data from here and you organize them in a way so that the end goal is to find out them quickly. And whenever I'm going to insert something new, I can put them in a proper place so that I can find it out easily later on. Okay, so that is the goal. The goal here is to find quickly and store quickly. Okay, so so that is how we came up with something new term called database. And database is nothing, organized collection of data. All right. So I, this is a, probably the step one of the solution. The step one of the solution I find out I figure out a way how do I store them then this, there is something like you know the way that 
we have to we have to we have to store this thing so how do we store okay so how do we create a database okay so here are a couple of other questions so question number one say how do I create a database okay then, then, then once I create a database how to use the database how do I use the database and uh, once this database is created is used then how do I maintain the database maintain the database so all these things will be answered by a software program called DBMS or database let me put some new color management system Okay. So a DBMS is a software that is going to manage your databases. So two things you learned here, a organized collection of data called database and a software that manages that database is called database management system or DBMS. Thank you.